All right, today we are going to paint a rebel flag on a tailgate of a truck. This is what the guy wants, so this is what he gets. Um, basically, I just measure it out and use fine line tape to go around it. And then what I did for the bars is I cut out the length I needed for the piece out of a piece of paper here. Hang on a sec. There we go. Okay, right like that. And then I used magnets. I mean, I'm not gonna line it up perfect, so I already did it. It's just to show you what I did. Yeah, basically held magnets, got it right where I wanted it, used the magnets to hold it in place, and then used fine line tape and just ran on each side of it and then moved that and flipped it over to do this one. And then let's use the X-Acto knife to cut the tape off there so that middle's clear now. And then I got a vinyl cutter at home, so what I did is I cut out a bunch of stars and that's what I'm gonna put on next here. I got these marked for the rough position of where the stars are gonna go. And I'll get back to you when I get that done. Okay, so I got the stars masked in. Now this it's going to be a little bit easier being a white tailgate. I only have to spray two colors, the blue and the red. You know, so once I pull all this up, there's going to be the white. Uh, another way you could do these stars, I mean, if you don't have vinyl cutter, if you can just get the vinyl, you can just cut them out with an X-Acto knife and peel them off. Or the other thing you do is you can lay masking tape through here and then cut your stars. You got to be real careful. They don't want to dig real deep. You just got to enough pressure to get through the tape and you can cut them out that way too I suppose all right I'm gonna get this thing masked off okay got the blue painted so uh, need to let that flash here for probably a good 30 minutes and then uh, we can pull these stars off and then mask this blue and uh, paint the red and it'll be done Okay, pulled the stars out. You can kind of see them on their tape, and I got the uh, bars masked off, so now we just got to paint the red. Alright, here we go. Stars and bars. Okay, we start spraying the race car. And here I cut this out on the vinyl cutter. So we got a good solid mask around it, keep the overspray off, and then you know I had that on there, so I could do the purple. And same thing here, I had this on however that went on there. And I was over here for the white. Uh, then for the windows, I just cut out some printout. Lay there and sprayed the windows, and now I'm just gonna start getting into doing some shading and stuff, and getting the lines tighter and everything a little bit sharper. Okay, I got quite a bit farther on this thing. Yeah, got caught up. Didn't have time to film anything, but you can see we got the lettering and the stripes and everything on, and I had to use the vinyl cutter again for the lettering. It, uh, that stuff's so small, I mean, trying to cut it by hand, you never get to look very good. Um, so if you don't have a vinyl cutter, you see going down to like a sign shop, they can usually cut that stuff out for you. I don't know what it costs though. But, you can see there's a cut out, and basically I was just able to lay it over where I needed to. 
for the striping and stuff. And then I went in and started doing some highlighting and getting these corners, all these lines tightened up so they're sharper. And most of that was either using a fine line tape to run it on the edges, or a lot of times I just use a shield. So you can just put it there, spray, you know, there, spray, or down here. In fact, I'm gonna add some more white on here, but like here, and then hit a little white to highlight that edge. Um, same thing, shading down here. Uh, mixing a little white with this color for the top to give it a little lighter. Give you your highlights and shades, gives it more of a three dimensional effect. Um, yeah, so now basically I'm just gonna go in and do a little more highlights. I gotta do the wheel still, and but it's getting pretty close to being done. All right, here it is done. I got the clear on it. As you see, I did some more highlighting in here. Some shading, put a drop shadow in there. And uh, it's pretty much done. Probably sand down a little bit and buff it just to flatten it out a little bit, but that would be it.